Okay, so welcome back. And today we're going to start talking about solving compound inequalities. So what is a compound inequality? Well, let me put it in context for you. So let's say that we're dealing with tolerances, which is going to be a big deal. Um, and that's one of the things we focus on. And it comes up in the real world all the time is this idea of, hey, are we with intolerance? Manufacturing, uh, any kind of widget, we deal with tolerances, right? And so we want something manufactured and because of variability, not every single part or widget is going to be exactly the same, right? So there's a little bit of variation in the measurements or what the out outcome is. And so when we do measurements, we want to make sure that our measurements are within tolerance. That's what we usually say, right? So here's an example for you. So let's say you've got a pipe, right? And you're measuring the inside diameter of the pipe, right? And so the, the blueprints, the plans, say that the inside diameter, right? So what we call the, uh, the ID. So ID for outside diameter, okay? is measured at three inches. That's, that's, the, that's the measurement it should be at. But then usually on the blueprints, it'll say three inches plus or minus 0 0.005 inches. And so this is the tolerance. Okay, that's the margin of error, right? They're saying, hey, um, if we say, well, if we say it's acceptable, the part is going to be acceptable as long as it's within. So there, here's another phrase that you want to keep, keep, be aware of and listen for. If you're within a certain number, so within 0 0.005 inches. So this is the margin of error. This is the maximum error allowed. Okay, if it's as long as it's within 0 0.005 inches, then the diameter and the part is acceptable. It's conforming. Okay, if the measurement goes outside that range, then it's called a non conforming part and it's not acceptable. And so that means that some adjustments need to be made. Okay, so. Um, so what do we mean by in, within tolerance? It means that, hey, our measurement is no bigger than three inches plus 0 0.005 or no smaller than three inches minus 0 0.005, okay? So, what does that mean as far as a compound inequality? Well, what that means is that our value of x, so this means that our value of x, what is x in this case? The inside diameter of the pipe, right? We're saying that that is going to be within, right? So that means it's going to be less than and greater than what? Well, if it, we say within, so within, So, so within what? Three plus 0 0.005 inches or three minus 
3.005 inches and 2.995 inches. Okay, and so that's the point. Okay, so that is what we mean by a compound inequality. And this is exactly how we solve an inequality. Now, we, again, we talk about subsets, right? Uh, but we're going to focus on the idea of tolerance because that's going to be a big thing for this class. And, but again, the same thing applies to sets of things, sets of numbers, sets of objects. Uh, in this case, you know, we could look, this is just inches. This is a measurement, okay? Um, so that's what we're going to focus on is the idea of tolerance. Okay. Have a great day.